um, when we have determine the 18th term and we have a geometric when we have a sequence if we don't know it's a geometric sequence the first thing we want to do is determine what the either ratio is or the difference does this have a common difference no but we can see that it looks like it has a common ratio and therefore I'll just take the first two terms 12 divided by 4 equals 3 and then I'll verify that with all the other terms so you don't need to divide every single term I like to just divide the first two terms and say alright so the ratio is multiplying by 3 if I multiply by 3 to get to 36 is, or 12 by 3 does that give me 36 yeah so you can say that the common ratio in this example is going to be 3 now to determine the 18th term I'm gonna have to use the explicit formula which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1 so a sub n represents the, whatever term in the sequence we're trying to figure out which in this case is going to be 18. Justin, you're not really following along with what I've asked you to do. All right, let's just put that down, like away, like Wait, face down. How did you know n was 18? Because n represents any number in the sequence. We're trying to find the 18th term. Mm -hmm. So we want to figure out what the 18th term is going to equal. We, a sub 1 represents 4. Our ratio is going to be 3. And then remember n, if n here is 18, then this n needs to be 18 minus 1. So now I do a to the 18th equals 4 times 3 raised to the 17th power. Now you will need a little bit of a high powered calculator here in this case. But I'll do 3 raised to the 17th power and then times 4. And what I get is a to the 18th is going to equal 1 million, million, trillion, big, big. 